Hello class, we will again continue with our lecture video discussion in differential calculus. Now this time our topic is implicit differentiation. Here we are to differentiate each term of the equations and find y prime. So in our first example, we are to find y prime of the original equation x squared plus y squared plus 2xy plus 16 equals zero so basically we will just going to differentiate each term so for the first term that is bring down 2 x 2 minus 1 then if you recall we have here the difference uh, we differentiate the base which is the x right that is your dx over dx and I, or you just leave it as 1 then we have there how about y squared differentiate y squared so this is bring down to y 2 minus 1 and then we will be deriving the base y if we derive base y that is dy over dx we cannot cancel that but rather that becomes your y prime if you recall dy over dx is actually the y prime now the third term how do we differentiate the third term 2xy in the third term we will be using the uh, the derivative of a product why because you have their u and v for me i will be using 2x as the u and then y as the v or you can just have u as x and v as y and then the constant will be multiplied later on but for me just to have make it more organized i just have uh, u as the 2x already now for the pattern the pattern for the different uh, derivative of product we have the d over dx of a u v equals copy u derive v plus v derive u okay so that is our pattern and so what happens here in the third term for the third term we have there plus so we copy u our u here is 2x then we derive the v so what is the derivative of y so that is dy over dx or simply y prime so we will just write y prime later on then we're not done yet because we are still to write the second part of the uh, formula the vdu now for the vdu we have there v which is your y and then differentiate u so dif uh, derive 2x that becomes 2 dx over dx or simply 1 then don't forget the derivative of a constant which is 16 so that's already 0 that is equal to 0 okay so we haven't le le left any terms here I believe Okay, then let's simplify and we have there 2x raised to 1 times 1 plus 2y raised to 1 then we have dy over dx that is y prime plus 2x dy over dx is y prime plus 2 times y times 1 equals 0 okay then the next step to consider after differentiating all terms is that we put all terms with y prime in the left side of the equation and the other other ones will be put in the right side of the equation so we leave here all terms with y prime so we have there 2y y prime 
plus 2x y prime while the others we have their 2x will be transferred to the right side of the equation so it becomes negative 2x and the 2y becomes negative 2y then uh, leave on the left side y prime only so we uh, bring out y prime here so this becomes y prime 2y plus 2x so so that if we distribute this it will return to the to this equation okay equals negative 2x minus 2y then we will be able to get now the y prime because this is what the uh, what the, this is what we are already looking for the value of y prime now we can still simplify this one the answer so we, we, we remove their negative 2x plus y all over 2x plus y okay so we can cancel them out so what's left for y prime is negative 1 so that is the final answer so that is the process for uh, looking for the y prime okay so first we differentiate all terms and then leave all terms with y prime in the left side of the equation and then the next step is uh, remove y prime and then you you put as a numer as a denominator the the uh, the rest of the uh, terms so then uh, you will be able to get the solo value for y prime okay that is for the example number one now about for example number two the original equation is x squared plus y squared equals a squared now we will be having a here as a constant so a is constant okay so again we derive each terms so we have there 2 x so notice I'm not putting the uh, 2 minus 1 and the dx over dx anymore so we are done that done with that and then we are simplifying now our solution so derivative of x squared is 2x plus derivative of y squared is 2y and then y prime so remember this is because this is the reason the reason is the derivative for the base y is dy over dx so that's why we have there y prime equals derivative constant is zero so we have there uh, next step is to leave all terms with y prime in the left side and the rest on the right side so we transfer 2x to the right and it becomes negative 2x and then isolate your y prime this becomes y prime equals negative 2x over 2y therefore y prime now is equal to negative x over y okay so that is the final answer so uh, it really needs uh, practice so after you get the uh, idea of solving this uh, topic then it is best to always practice solving now let's go to example number 3. Here we have x squared plus 4xy plus y squared equals 1. We will be solving for y prime. 
So first, differentiate each term. x squared is 2x. 2x, 2 minus 1 dx over dx. But we can just leave it as 2x. Plus, again, this is the the uh, what we did for, for the number 1. 4 x y here you can just put 4 x as u then y as v okay so from the pattern we have there copy u which is 4 x derive v so derivative of dy over dx is y prime plus copy v oh <laughs> copy v which is the y and then derive u which is derivative of 4x and that is 4dx over dx or simply 4 plus y squared is bring down 2 copy the base y 2 minus 1 or 1 then derive y y here becomes dy over dx and that is y prime and then equal to derivative of 1 is 0 then Simplify 2x plus 4xy prime. Then we have there plus 4y plus 2y y prime equals 0. Then combine all terms with y prime in the left side of the equation. We have there 4xy prime plus 2yy prime equals negative 2x minus 4y then I we uh, remove y prime here 4x plus 2y equals negative 2x minus 4y therefore y prime is negative 2x minus 4y over 4x plus y then you can still simplify this one mm, bring bring out negative 2 this becomes x plus 2y so that if you distribute negative 2 it becomes negative 4y next you can uh, bring out 2 here then this becomes 2x plus y so can we cancel this one out no they're not the same so what we can cancel here is the 2 so what's left here for y prime is equal to negative x plus 2y over 2x plus y so that is our final answer or you can have y prime equals negative x minus 2y over 2x plus y. So we can still have these two answers and still arrive as correct. Okay, that is for number 3. Now, let's proceed to the example number 4. Now, this is quite different because uh, from the previous examples, we've been solving for the y prime. Now, how about if we are looking for t prime? So, what's the difference? Well, the equation here is x equals t raised to 3 minus 3 t raised to 2. So, we have x and t here. Therefore, what is t prime? t prime will be dt over dx equals t prime just as dy over dx is y prime dx over dy could also be x prime whereas if you have dy over dy of course that is 1 okay so the point here is if you've been used to dy over dx some might get confused whenever they see the t prime but actually it's just the same the principle is just the same as 
with dy over dx. Alright? So again, the first step will always be solving each term. So here, x is bx over dx. Remember, we are looking for t prime. Therefore, the denominator becomes dx. Okay? So, <clears throat> dx over dx. Or simply, let's just say it's already 1. <clears throat> then, let's proceed to the first term in the right side of the equation. We have the t cubed. So here you just bring down 3. I think it will be helpful if I put here dx over dx. Okay. <clears throat> Equals. Bring down 3. The base t. 3 minus 1. And what happens with the part here? This becomes the derivative of the base t. So this is dt over dx, which is actually your t prime. Minus 3, bring down 2, t, the base t raised to 2 minus 1, and the derivative of the base, which is dt over dx, or your t prime. So here we have the 1 equals 3 t squared t prime minus 6 t t prime okay then uh, how is that well if you're following my instruction which is leave the 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 one with prime in the left side of the equation well we can do that Oh, sorry for the background music. So here, we will just uh, copy the one in the right. 3t squared t prime minus 6t t prime equals 1. If you notice, I haven't changed the sign. I transferred 3t squared t prime to the uh, left side. And I transferred 1 to the right side. But the sign remains the same. But if you're conservative, so we can just put here negative, positive, and then negative. Okay, still good. Okay, no problem with that. The answer will always be the same. Then, uh, we remove t prime because what that's what we're looking for, the t prime. Then we have their negative 3 t squared plus 6 t equals negative 1. Oh, I hope the chicken quiets now. t prime equals negative 1 over negative 3 t squared plus 6 t. Uh, we can uh, already have this as an answer okay so if you're um, in a hurry you can have this already as an answer we can still simplify this one further so we have their negative one all over oh now the dogs negative three t times t minus 2 then we can uh, remove the negative sign because they're both having the negative sign we have their negative 1 I don't know sorry we have their 1 or Honestly, I'm being distracted by the noise. 1 over 3 t t minus 2. Okay, so that is the final answer. 
can have this answer and also this answer and they are still the same now for our final example example number five again you're seeing here letter a so let's have a as a constant again let's solve this um, term by term now if you're looking at this portion here uh, you can actually solve this in more than one way you can distribute this first and then differentiate late, differentiate each term one by one or we can already differentiate it as it is now for me I will differentiate it as it is okay? so here how do we differentiate this if you remember this is just your base u this whole portion here is the base u and then this is the exponent now what pattern are we to follow for that so the der derivative yeah, the power rule here we bring down n copy u minus 1 the exponent then derive du du dx so I'm using a bracket here so du over dx so let's follow that pattern having having this portion here as the u okay so the first one is to bring down n so bring down n which is 2 right because this is the exponent of the base u so bring down n copy the base which is the base u then the exponent minus 1 then derive the base whatever is in the base so you will not be thinking of the exponent to here you will not mind that you will only be minding the one in the blue uh, oblong so we have their derivative of uh, x squared that is 2 x now what will happen here what we're looking for here is y prime so definitely this becomes dx over dx or just simply 2x minus 2y 2 minus 1 or 1 and derivative of the base y derivative of the base y is dy over dx or that is your y prime then are we done with, with it yes we're done with it next is the derivative of the right side uh, I will just put it here oh, can we just move this pattern there Okay, for the right side of the equation we have there well we will be treating uh, this as the whole constant so if you were if you have been uh, thinking of a derivative of a product well it's still valid but uh, the shorter way to answer this is to treat this portion here as a product the whole product for uh, the, the whole constant for a is a constant some might mistaken a for a variable thus thinking that the derivative of a here will become a prime but no let's take it as a constant here so if that is the case what will happen we'll just copy for a because it's just a constant right bring down three 
and then the variable here the the, the base y raised to 3 minus 1 then the derivative of the base which is dy over dx or y prime okay x squared minus y squared then this becomes 2x minus 2y y prime equals this becomes 12a y squared y prime okay then we can uh, expand this portion here just if you remember we are getting the uh, the terms with y prime only in the left side of the equation so we can distribute this one this is 2x prime minus 2y right, 2x squared minus 2y squared 2x minus 2y y prime equals 12a y squared y prime so we will be distributing the this distribute it there distribute it here so in whatever comfortable way you will use in solve in distributing that well it's up to you you will always arrive at the correct answer or the right uh, the, the same answer Okay, so we have there 4 x cube so the first one is 4 x cube minus this is 4 x squared y y prime minus 4 x y squared minus you have there or should I say plus because is this, this is negative 2y squared times negative 2y y prime <coughs> so this becomes now 4 y cube y prime then that is equal to 12 a y squared y prime <coughs> So all y prime will be left in the uh, all y prime will be here in the left side of the equation. So we have there three terms: four x squared y y prime plus four y raised to three y prime minus 12 a y squared y prime that is equal to negative 4 x cubed plus 4 x y squared then we remove here y prime so what's left inside the parenthesis is negative 4 x squared y plus 4y cubed minus 12ay squared equals negative 4x cubed plus 4xy squared then we will be getting the answer for y prime equals negative 4x raised to 3 plus 4xy squared then over 4x squared y plus 4y cubed minus 12a y squared okay then we can still simplify this obviously we can simplify this by removing negative 4 we can have also x here so what's left inside the parenthesis is x squared this is minus y squared over um, how about this 
the denominator here we can uh, remove here negative 4 y because they all have y then inside the parentheses we have their x squared plus y squared mm, I think it should be ne negative Ayan. minus y squared minus no this should be plus this is plus 3 a y okay so let's check for the sign so if we distribute this back it should be negative positive negative so okay it's good then cancel out negative 4 y prime now becomes x squared minus y squared or oh, forgot the x part so we can now cancel out negative 4 what's left is x times x squared minus y squared then y x squared minus y squared plus 3a y and then that is the final answer now for you to try is um, try to expand this part then derive each term and see whether it goes to have the same answer well if you done it correctly then the answer will be similar with this one okay so that's all for today that's all for this topic and uh, i hope you learned from this video even though we're a bit distracted so stay tuned for other videos of our lecture in differential calculus so that's all for today thank you